There we go, Mr. and Scott just watched that and was like, mm, hang on a minute, I think I think we're missing someone because because earlier this year, didn't didn't we get promise that Caleb Ewan was gonna go to the Tour de France? Let's have a look on Google. Oh, oh, he he, he missed out. He, he dropped. Um, no, Caleb Ewan. Caleb Ewan. Look, December 2017. They literally said we're gonna take him to the Tour de France. Like everyone said it. We know that Caleb is ready for the tour. It's going to be a great, it's going to be a learning experience and we will be supporting him 100%. Oh wait, Matt White. No, you won't because he's leaving to Lotto. So young Caleb Ewan, as you may or may not know, uh, he is actually leaving to Lotto Sedal. And um, here we go. This is the Cycling News, uh, Cycling Weekly article. He's leaving to Lotto Sedal. So you can imagine Matt White being like, well, why would I bring a sprinter who's going to like detract from the GC point and he's going to leave the team anyway he probably won't get a win like they're going to bring him probably just learn some experience and he's going to go to lotto and then win next year makes no sense also you think young simon yates he had an absolute cracking giro d'italia like a real cracking giro d'italia very close to winning it and they're thinking in my opinion adam yates is better than simon yates in terms of the pure mountain stages like when it gets real high altitude, Adam Yates is definitely better. Like, not as good on the punchy stages necessarily, but he's good on the time trial. Probably about the same. Maybe Simon Yates is better at the time trial. But the real mountainous stages, I mean, like, they must think Adam Yates can do it. Like, he had a good uh, Dauphiné. He was looking solid. Uh, and the rest of the guys, real good time trial squad. Durbridge, Bauer, Hepburn, Matty Heyman. I mean, those are all solid boys. Real solid boys. Uh, add Damien Housen in there, another solid time trialist. You're looking like a real solid team. Nieve for the mountains to help. And Daryl Impey again, good on the mountains, good solid time trialist. This is looking like a real good squad in terms of the team time trial. You add Caleb Ewan in, he's not great at the time trial. He's small, like, I mean, it does make sense. Again, you think about the cobbled stages, all the guys apart from Nieve, they're all real solid people on the cobbles. So again, it, it just makes sense. But Caleb Ewan has been left out to dry. And you might remember last year, we had a very similar situation uh, with Brian Cocard. Brian Cocard decided that he was going to leave Direct Energy. And Direct Energy were like, all right, mate, we're not taking you to the tour. And he was like, well, you don't have a sprinter. And he's like, ha ha, lols. We have Lillian Kalmajan. And Kalmajan took the stage, so it was all good. Um, but yeah, will Michigan Scott regret this if Yates crashes out or loses like a minute on the, or like two minutes on the cold stages and can't, can't do well on GC? I mean, I don't know, but... For me, it's, they've mugged him off badly. <laughs> like, Caleb Ewan must be like, fuck's sake. Because he didn't go to the Giro. Like, he could go to the Vuelta, maybe. But, like, come on, there's not many stages. So he's just like, I'm not going to ride a Grand Tour this year, maybe. And, like, okay, fine, he's moving to Lotto. But it's like a year of development where he hasn't really, he hasn't got better. Like, really. I mean, the, the stages he needs to win to, like, claim to be a good sprinter are the Grand Tours. And he's just not doing them. So he must be pretty pissed off. He'll probably go to Tour of Pallone and be like, fuck this shit. I want to be at the Tour de France. Um, but anyway, it's uh, interesting tactics. Lotto Sudal would be the only reason he got left out. All the rest of them. It's sort of like, it's a tough decision. I mean, if you're Matt White, it makes sense. Like, why would you want to help develop someone who's going to leave your team next year? Like, you'd rather just go balls in for the GC and see what happens. Because you've only got eight riders as well. That's the other thing you've got to remember. Like, Back in the day, well, back in the day last year when you had nine riders, it's all good because you can have sort of mix and match. But now you have eight. It's like you really, if you've got a couple climbers on the flat stages, like you don't have many blokes. And with a team time trial in there as well, it's really important you've got a solid squad because if Team Sky, like, just smash the team time trial, you could lose like a minute if you ha don't have a good squad. And there's like a minute is on this Tour de France, there's not too many mountain top finishes or like times to really get time back. So it's going to be... um. It's going to be very, very, very interesting. Um, so, yeah. Been hang out to dry, really, by Michigan Scott. Poor bloke, to be honest. I mean, like, he joined them, thought he was all going to do well. Um, and now he's just got absolutely mugged off uh, by them. But to be fair, like, they're changing to a GC team. So he knew his opportunity was going to be limited. But even so, like, come on. Like, just give him a shot. Like, you might as well just chuck him in, take out Damo House and... Chuck him in, you know, take out Michael Hepburn, maybe. I don't know, one of those lads. Just chuck him in and see what he can do. Like, just freelance and just be like, yeah, on the stages that you're, like, aren't for you, you're going to have to fucking work real hard for Yates. 
and it's like fair play but instead they've just got this situation now where like I don't know it doesn't look great does it really like because Caleb Ewan's just been mugged off or Mish and Scott basically need to do well in the GC which I guess they probably will with Yates A but it's going to be an interesting Tour de France can't wait for some more squad releases will there be any more drama I don't really think so because most of them are pretty well decided like everyone knows we're going for GC this Maybe Fabio Aru is an interesting one. Will he help Dan Martin? Nobody knows. Apart from that, Team Sky, will they bring Bernal? Maybe. That's another sort of interesting one. A lot of them are like, Trek's sake, afraid of fuck. This is going for about Molomo. You're like, oh, God. That's real. That's real bad. Like, it's just going to get like ninth again. It's like, come on, man. Dimension Data, will they bring Mikey? Well, Mikey's might go. Probably not. They'll probably just go full gas for Cav. Um, apart from that, it's like every team's just obvious what they're going for, really. Um, maybe Katusha, how they split the squad with Kittel and Zacharin, but quick step, we all know what they're doing. Um, so yeah, it'll be good. Old Gaviria and young gals. So anyway, cheers for watching. Uh, poor Caleb Ewan. Do you think that Michigan and Scott were right to leave him out because he's leaving to Lotto? Or do you think it's just, like, after all the promise they said, like, you're going to go to the Tour de France, and then they mug him off at the very last. I think it's, it's pretty shitty behavior by Michigan and Scott, and I think they should have just stuck with that word, been like, yeah, you're going to the Tour de France. Um, but anyway... That's their decision, so cheers for watching, and I'll see you in the next vid-de-o. Oh.